What's going on y'all? Welcome back to another video. Look, today we're going to talk about what's in my bag. Alright, so if you don't know, I'm a photographer and I'm just going to basically tell you guys what I keep in my camera bag so that I can effectively do what I do. So number one, lenses. You always want to have lenses obviously because how else would you take the picture? Now, we are going to talk about different types of lenses. In order for you to have a full range and be able to do any type of photography or video, or like switch it up, get different types of looks and angles and stuff like that, you need different types of lenses. This right here is a 50 millimeter from Canon, right? It is golden. People call it the nifty 50 right this is more of a portrait lens it's very it's kind of tight but it's very sharp like image quality wise super super sharp this one goes down to 1.8 um for the aperture so f's up um so it's really good for portraits and even for video this is really nice except for the fact that it's kind of tight so it's a little bit Press, but other than that this lens you can never go wrong with I recommend it for everyone no matter what type of photography video you do get a nifty 50 50 millimeter that's what I got and they're not expensive it's like 150 this is a lens hit I bought to get like lens flares out of camera and stuff like that but this is the actual lens alright also you don't just want this because with this one is a prime lens, so that means you have to move every time. You also want to get a wide angle lens or just a zoom lens. Um, this is a Canon 24 to 105. Right? You need this especially for video or even like um, studio. You need that nice wide angle lens for full body photos, stuff like that. The 50, you can't get full body on it, but you have to back up. So to make your life a little bit easier. Make sure you get a 50 and a wide, all right? You need both. Also, if you got, if you can afford it, um, I would recommend getting a 7200 golden. I'm telling you, if you got a 7200 and these, you're set. No question about it. 7200 is golden though. You can use it anywhere. Studio, outdoor, video, no matter what. That lens right there, Golden. I don't have one yet. I've used it a lot, but I don't have my own because they're expensive. But get one of those in your bag. Number two, camera strap. The reason I like the camera strap is because it adds a little bit of character to your camera and it gives you like that confidence. It's almost like when you wear certain clothes and when you put the, these type of clothes on, you feel like you, you know what I'm saying? You're doing your thing. And that's kind of how I feel with my camera straps. I like to have these on just because it adds that look to my camera. You know what I mean? That's just how I am. It may be weird, but I don't look at camera straps like everybody else do. I, I like to, you know what I mean, do my thing with it. But camera strap, um, especially if you're just starting out and you don't want to drop your camera, you know what I'm saying? Camera strap on. Um, these are really cheap. You can get it however you want. Also, even like for video, with your handheld and your cameras here, you can use it as leverage. You know what I mean? Boom, you can do that. Um, it has a couple of different uses. Some people have their camera here and they like move the camera forward and bring it back, stuff like that. You can do really a lot of things with this. But what I'm saying is, um, me personally, I think everyone should have one of these, whether it's for fashion use or actual protection for your camera. Get you a camera strap. Next one, chopstick. Nowadays, we're wearing masks. Well, you should be, but you know what I mean. A little chopstick won't hurt you. And lotion. I need to take the advice for the lotion, man. I know y'all been seeing my videos and my hands be ashy. Don't mind me, man. Make sure you got you some chopstick, some lotion, whatever you can get to make yourself look more professional and more put together. 
get it. And different adapters. I use clamps for studio stuff, um, as far as like backdrops. But if you have, let's say like a fabric backdrop or something like that, or you want to just attach something to a pole or whatever, clamps always come in handy. This is a very cheap one, but they do have bigger, more expensive ones that you can use. So clamps for sure you want to have in your bag at all times. Um, this is actually a foam mount for my Ronin, but you can use this for any type of little setup, you know what I mean? Have your phone sit on the side or um, you can connect other devices or things to your stands to make it easier for you to do certain things. So these stuff like this, it doesn't hurt. Um, especially for social media use, you want to up the game a little bit. This is really useful as well. Triggers. This right here is a generic trigger. You can use it for pretty much any device. There's another piece that goes to it. Receiver. So you got a trigger and you got a receiver. Um, I bought this from Amazon. And you can connect any light, any strobe to it, speed light, whatever it is. You can connect it to it. This will be on your camera. This will be on the device and they sync and it's very easy. Um, so I recommend getting this. Also, Certain strokes have their own receiver, like this. But in the event that this breaks, you have a backup with these. So I would recommend every photographer buy one of these. They take AA batteries, you know what I'm saying? These usually take a different type of battery. Like this one takes a, like this weird blue battery. I don't know what that is, but I don't got one of those on hand. So one day, this died during the shoot. And I had to figure something out. Thankfully, I had these. They saved me. So I recommend, I highly recommend you get you some triggers. All right, right here I got a multi-tool. This is for if you gotta cut something, you gotta cut something off your client's clothing, you gotta um, cut a backdrop, you gotta break something real quick, you're getting creative, you know what I mean? Multi-tool is very useful. It has all these different things on it, make sure I don't cut my suit, you know what I'm saying, both sides, boom, you know what I'm saying, your nails a little too long, you know what I'm saying, uh, what else we got, screwdriver, you know what I'm saying, and then we got a ruler if you need that, but yeah, multi-tool is definitely useful, I recommend having it in your bag, just in case something happens, um, and it can also be used as a little weapon if you get into something it's my drum rock or something hey you never know most tool very next up we got an sd card holder buy one of these um i did not have one of these before but i got one now it's very useful you can keep all your sd cards in here you know what i'm saying keep them all in there and it'll keep them safe in one place you won't have to worry about where did i put the sd card did I leave it in my pocket? Did I leave it on my desk? Just keep it all in here. You never have to worry about losing any of your footage. As you call it, standard. Next, we got AirPods. The speaker. I keep my speaker. You know what I'm saying? JBL. Speaker's dope. But have either a speaker or AirPods. You know what I'm saying? So, speaker, if you're doing something where you are not to yourself, you have clients around you gotta interact with the speaker not too loud but just so you get the mood and atmosphere right airpods if you're doing an event like a football game or something like that um where you, where you can have your own music and get in your mode and do your thing you know what i'm saying also not too loud so you can hear people too when they ask you questions but these two right here very important this right here is an external hard drive very useful for storing all of your footage, um, even the ones you send to clients. Just have a backup, just in case something happens and they need you to grab them again. You don't want to just leave them all on whatever um, internet software you use. It's kind of good to just have a little backup if you don't hear it. Very useful. All right, right here we got a microphone. Pretty self-explanatory. This will enhance your audio a little bit more. 
for videos. Let's say, even though you're doing photography, if you throw in a little B-roll clip for your client, just because this would be handy for that. So yeah. Batteries. You obviously need batteries. You can't have more than enough batteries, camera batteries. Um, and chargers, obviously. But I would say overpack batteries because you literally never know when your batteries can run out. You think you're doing good and you know what I mean? You don't really need to bring a whole bunch of batteries because it's gonna just be a quick little simple shoot. No. Sometimes it turns into something else and you need extra batteries because you're all you're not always in a place where you can charge your batteries. So I would say charge extra batteries and keep some in your bag. Alright. Alright then lastly we have LED lights. You saw what he was doing, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I always keep one of these with me. It is very useful for everything. Video, photography, no matter what it is. This can be used if it's a little bit too dark outside or your shoot runs over and you need a little bit extra light. This thing is powerful. Um, it is the Pixel. Pixel G1. Very powerful light, very useful for video and photography. Keep it in your bag. You're probably gonna use it at some point. Um, I highly recommend it. I got it from Amazon for like, it was less than $100. And when I tell you this thing is powerful, if you stare at it too long, you might go blind. Like it's very powerful, but it's so small and compact. So definitely keep one of these in your bag. This light also has different modes, like strobe effects. So let me show you how the strobe effect looks. Alright y'all, that's what's in my bag. Um, but what's in yours though? All my other photographers and videographers, make another video like this. Tell me what's in yours. It might be something that I can add to mine. So yeah, y'all stay tuned for more videos. We out. Straight to the wrong way, got some people who call us.